Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm super excited to do today's nail design. So today we're going to be working on these Blood Splatter and Michael Myers nails. We're going to be encapsulating these full water decals in Builder Gel. I'm just gonna run through some of the products that I'm using. So this is the primer, dehydrator, and cuticle oil that I used today. This is the matte top coat from Not Polish. And then I also use this top coat and liquid latex to protect the finger from the blood splatter. This is the polish that I used, but any nude will work. And then I just used a couple reds to create my blood, and I will show that later on in the video. This is the builder gel that I used. This is a soakable builder gel from Nailite. And then I used my LED flashlight for flash carrying in between. And these are the tips that I used from Enel Couture. These are the ballerina tips. So let's go ahead and get started into this nail tutorial. So at this point, I've already prepared the nail plate. I've removed the cuticle, pushed everything back, and now I'm just cleaning that with alcohol to make sure that there's no debris or buildup on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my dehydrator and primer, making sure not to apply that to the skin, only the nail plate. And then you also wanna make sure that you don't touch the nail plate once you've prepared that. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my base gel, and I'm just gonna apply a thin layer of that and cure in my LED lamp. Here I'm applying the nail tip. I'm going to be using base gel to apply that. I'm just gonna put a little bit into the well there and then I'm going to flash cure that in place. Now I am purposely leaving a little gap towards the cuticle area because I like to leave that open so that I can control the amount of product that's there and I don't have a bunch of bulk. Once I have that in place and flash cured, I'm gonna go ahead and have her pop it into the light. Once that's had a chance to cure completely, I'm gonna go ahead and go in and refine the shape of these tips. I'm just gonna clean up the sidewall a little bit here on this middle finger, because it's kind of large for her. And then I'm also gonna take the time to remove the little tab at the end of the nail and just refine it as I see necessary. And then I'm gonna go through and remove the shine from the very tip of the nails, and this just ensures that everything's going to stick well. Once I've done that, I'm gonna clean everything up with rubbing alcohol and just make sure I dust off anything that might have kicked up from the filing that we did. So once I've removed all that dust, I'm just going to go in with a thin layer of base gel. I'm going to make sure to include the cuticle area and the entire extension. Once I've done that, I'm going to have her pop her hand into the LED lamp that I have for 30 seconds. This just ensures that all of the gel products that we're going to be using are going to stick really well and we don't get any lifting later on. At this point, I'm going to take some of the Builder Gel. I'm just going to get a small amount of that on my brush, and I'm going to apply that to the ring, middle, and thumb fingers. And this is just going to even everything out so that we can place those decals without having any ridges below them. And again, I'm not building up the nail at this point. I am just simply evening things out. I'm going to go ahead and flash cure each nail as I'm going. Once I've completed all three fingers, I'm going to have her put her hand into the light and do a total cure. Make sure that you cure according to your package directions. I've gone ahead and cut out the decals that I'm going to be using. Now I'm just taking my scissors and I'm applying little slits all the way around the decal. This is just going to ensure that it sits nicely on the nail itself and that we don't get wrinkling when we're trying to do the application. So I'm going to go ahead and take some isopropyl alcohol and remove the tacky layer from the ring, middle, and thumb finger. I'm going to go ahead and take those decals that I've chosen and I'm going to place that right into some water. I'm going to wait for that to soften up and start to pull away from the backing. And it really doesn't take very long at all. And then you'll see me, I'm kind of pulling it up. You want to make sure that you're very careful at this point because these decals are very soft. These particular decals have a white backing, so I didn't need to put a white background on my nail that I'm working with, but if you get some that are translucent, you will wanna put a white background on there so that it really pops. Now, as I'm placing these nail decals, I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess, but I'm also being sure to leave a little gap towards the cuticle area that's blank. And now that's going to be for our gel to grab onto. I am gonna show you how we're going to correct that 
here in a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this process for the other two fingers. And again, I'm just going to place that, trim off the excess, and leave that little gap right at the top. Once I'm happy with that placement, I'm gonna go in with my file in a downward motion and I'm going to remove any excess decal. What I'm also doing is creating a little lip where there's a bald spot all the way around that decal. And again, this is going to make sure that when I encapsulate, that my gel has something to grab onto and that that decal is completely encapsulated. So here you'll see that I'm just applying a little bit of base coat and I'm gonna go ahead and have her cure her fingers again in my LED lamp for 30 seconds. And what this does is this seals in that decal so it won't move on you and it also makes sure that you won't get any lifting later on and that it is completely sealed into that nail. Once that's cured, we're going to go ahead and go in and clean up that cuticle area and touch up any areas that you might see nail through that you don't want to. So I'm going to take my detail brush and Madame Glam's Perfect Black and I'm just going to go around the entire perimeter of that nail and touch up anything that I think needs to be touched up. Sometimes you can see the little slits that we created and again I'm just going to go in with my detail brush and color that in black. I'm also going around the cuticle area at this point and the free edge. And again, I wanna go around the entire decal so that we don't get any lifting. Now this is sealing it in and this is another layer of protection for that decal. Once I'm happy with that black outline, I'm going to go ahead and have her cure her hand in my LED or UV lamp for a total cure. For black, I do recommend doing a little bit longer, so for that I do do a full 60 seconds. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and start building up the body of the nails themselves. So for the pointer finger and the pinky here, I'm just going to build that up in clear. And then for the ring, thumb, and middle finger, I'm going to make sure to encapsulate the entire nail. I'm going to make sure that I pay attention to the apex and that I don't get anything on her skin around the cuticle area. And just be sure that if you do get something on the skin that you remove that before you have them cure. As I'm moving from finger to finger, I am using my little LED flashlight to just flash cure that to hold it in place until we can do a total cure at the end. And that's just to save some time. So I'll go ahead and let you guys watch me work and I'll meet you back for the next step.
I went ahead and file shaped and buffed off camera and then I'm just going to go ahead and remove any dust or debris with isopropyl alcohol. Now if you over filed in any areas you can just go back in with that black gel polish and a detail brush and just take the time now to clean that up. I'm going to go ahead and flash cure that for the time being. Depending on the polish that you have you may not want to do that because it can sometimes cause wrinkling. And in that case, you would just have them put their hand into the light and do a total cure as opposed to a flash cure. So for the pinky and pointer finger, I'm going to go ahead and build up two layers of this nude gel polish. I'm going to be sure to cure each layer in between and I'll meet you guys back for the next step. Once that's cured, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a matte top coat to all of the nails, making sure to seal that free edge as well. And then I'm going to do another total cure and remove the tacky layer once that comes out of the light with isopropyl alcohol. At this point in the nail design, we need to protect the hand from the gel polish splatter that we're going to be doing. So I went ahead and had this person put on a pair of gloves. I cut the tips off, pushed it back a little bit, and then I'm gonna use liquid latex to go around any exposed skin that's remaining. And this just allows me to have the nail out while also protecting the skin. So once I get that liquid latex placed, we're gonna go ahead and start into the blood splatter for these nude colored nails. So in my dabbing dish, I have isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to take this piece of a toothbrush and I'm just going to dip it into the alcohol and then into that red polish and that's gel polish. I'm going to go ahead and run my finger across that to achieve the splatter. And then I'm going to take that same toothbrush and I'm just going to dip it into the darker red and brighter red. And I'm just going to apply little blotches, which are going to be my blood splatter. Once I'm happy with that configuration, I'm going to go ahead and have my friend here put her hand into the LED lamp and do a total cure on that. Once I've completed that, I'm going to go in with a no wipe top coat and I'm just going to go ahead and run over all of those little blood splatters and that's just to make it look extra juicy like it just happened, like we just got out of a murder scene. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch that while I play some music and I'm just using a detail brush and Poochie's non wipe polish for this and then I'll have her do a total cure at the end. Alright guys, so that does it for this tutorial. I just went ahead and had her wash her hands and this is the final look. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. Who else is super excited about the new Halloween movie coming out on the 15th today? I believe you can watch it on Peacock. Um, I will have all that information down below, but if you want a place where you can actually discuss the new movie on the 18th, the Pod and Gore 
podcast is going to be having a full episode dedicated to that new Halloween movie. So I'll leave their information down below as well if you're interested in that. If you're a horror movie buff like I am and you want some place to be able to talk about things like that. But aside from that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys.